p.m. And I've got the world according to Mike Graham at 8 p.m. That's two Mike Grahams for the price of one. It's not what I was told. You'd be mad to miss it. Uh, it is five past one. Good afternoon. Coming up this hour. Clearly everybody understands that we need to hold value. These qualifications need to hold value. They've done an absolutely brilliant job. I mean, congratulations to all of them. They've shown such resilience and they really have been through an awful lot. Um, but as, as the results show, 79% of them have got their firm offer at university. There it is. The A-level results are out. They are down slightly, particularly in England. Nonetheless, a pass is a pass, so it's trebles all round. But what about the kids who didn't go the academic route? Where are the celebrations and the national endorsement for them, the apprentices? More on that in a few moments' time. In other news, someone who is confident about the future. Why does inflation matter? It's pretty simple. It's because inflation eats into the pounds in your pocket. That's why I said I wanted to halve it on its way to getting it back down to 2% where it belongs. And I am absolutely confident that if we hold our nerve and stick to our plan, we will do that. Yeah, Rishi Sunak says we'll all be better off next year. His plans for inflation, discipline in public spending and tax means we're all going to feel the benefits. This time next year we will be millionaires. Yeah, of course we will. We'll look at that in more detail. Meantime, in Wales... That's why we'd like to lower speed limits from 30 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour in some areas. If we drove at 20 miles per hour, we could make it safer for children to walk or cycle to school, giving them the space they need to keep healthy. Well, a heck of a row is brewing over plans for the Welsh Government to impose a 20-mile-an-hour speed limit in all urban areas. Motorists are not happy. They've embarked on a red flag protest. We'll tell you the origins of that a little later. And it's goodbye to this man. of course no doubt on this one he was the originator of the uk chat show the man who made people like me want to do this job michael parkinson has died at the age of 88 we'll look back at what is clearly an unparalleled career and the black farmer wilfred emmanuel jones is back with us a man with big opinions of course always good to get his take on the big issues of the day 0344 499 1000 that is where you will find us uh, let's have a look at those results then tens of of thousands of teenagers have missed out after a record year-on-year -year fall in A-level results following Minister's pledge to return the system to normal after the pandemic, where there was a, an inflation, it seems, of those results. Some 73,000 fewer A-stars and A's were awarded this year compared with 2022, as examples sought to tackle years of grade inflation during COVID. What does all this mean in reality? And what does it mean, by the way, and something we talk about often, um, about the apprenticeship route? Uh, that you might, I mean, there's a big emphasis and a huge lot of pressure on young people. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine and their daughter waiting today for the big results. The pressure has been immense. It's been building up for months. She's not lived a normal life because she's discombobulating daily, wondering whether she's going to get into Bromley Polytechnic or wherever the heck it might be. And that's what it does. The apprentice route, uh, that's a very uh, more straightforward affair, isn't it? No big debts and a job straight away and you start earning from the off. We don't hear much about that still to this day. Should there be a greater emphasis on apprenticeships? 0344 499 1000. That is where you'll find us. Uh, let's speak to Joe Twyman on this and a few other stories as well. Joe's a political commentator, co founder of the public opinion consultancy Delta Poll, with us in the studio. How are you doing, Joe? Good afternoon, Ian. Uh, I am good, thank you. Can you remember A level day? I was on the BBC opening my A levels. For, Seriously? Yes, yes. This is fantastic. Yeah, you were exactly. one Because we had a couple of students this morning on Julia's show doing exactly that, and um, you were one of those. Yes, I was a media uh, darling. I'll use that expression. So they said, even, are there any students then, that are willing to do this? Well, you? at my school, there were 15,000, 15,000, 1,500 people receiving their A-level results.